Hey everyone, welcome back to the Ruby on Rails tutorial where we're building a book review application from scratch. This is the third part of the series and in this part we're going to be adding the paperclip gem and we're going to be laying out the books with a image of the book rather than the book title. Also on the show page we're going to display the book image and we're going to do a little bit of layout styles for the description and then in the next section when we add reviews and ratings we'll have some layout styles for that already so without further ado let's get into this so to start using the paperclip gem we first need to put the gem in the gem file so to do that we're going to go to rubygems.org and we're going to go to paperclip and we're going to grab the paperclip gem along the right side here you'll see the paperclip gem we can copy that to the clipboard and we want to go into our gem file we're going to put that, put it right below devise. And just like other gems, the first thing we want to do is we want to run bundle install. So we know to use, so our app knows to use the paperclip gem. All right. Now let's visit the documentation for getting this to work. I'm going to clean up my folders here really quick. All right, let's go to the home page. And paperclip's a little tricky to get working. Um, what you need for Paperclip to work is an image processor. Now on Mac OS X, we can use Homebrew to install Image Magic, which is the image processor. On Windows, they have a um, on Unix. Here's the command right here, and on Windows, they have some instructions on how to get Image Magic working. So one thing that um, they recommend doing for Mac OS X is using Homebrew. To get homebrew, right here's the site, brew.sh. And once you have homebrew, you can run a simple command brew install image magic. Now, one thing we need to do is once you have image magic installed, we need to go into our terminal and run which convert. Now, this is going to generate a path. Now, mine is slash user slash local slash bin slash convert. And what you do is you go into your config environments development.rb file. And if it's the same as what mine was, you can just paste this code right here. If your path was different, you can adjust your path accordingly. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to paste that into config environments development.rb. I'm going to paste that in. Adding this line of code to the development.rb file helps Paperclip know where to look for this image magic utility. So it's very important to uh, get that working correctly. And now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here and we're going to figure out how to get this up and running. So in quick start, we have models here and in Rails 4, we'll use that since we're using Rails 4, we're going to copy this code and I'll explain it once we paste that in. I'll head back over here and Paperclip Gem is going to be associated with our book model. So we're going to go into our book model, app models book.rb. Let's go to the bottom here and paste that in. Now what this does is defining the attached file. In this, in our case, um, avatar is just the name that we're going to be using, but we want to use just book image. And right here is defining some styles. So when we upload the image, it's going to allow us to pick some sizes that the image will be. So what I want to do is I want to name these two different ones so I can associate them with the different images we're going to be showing. On book index, our image size is going to be 250 pixels wide by 350 pixels. Oh, 350 pixels. These you can change these image sizes with CSS, but right now I'm just going to leave them as the size that I know I want them to be. So then we'll do book show, which is the image that's going to show on the show page for the book. So this one's going to be a little bit bigger at 325 pixels wide by 475 pixels tall. All right, so with that, now what we want to do is we want to basically generate the um, paperclip book image. So we're going to head back over here and look at migrations here. Now what this is going to do is it's going to add um, an up method and a down method and adding attachment, um, to, in our case it will be books, book image, and then removing attachment, books, book image. To get that functionality, we're just going to run Rails generate paperclip. In our case, it's going to be book book image. So we'll head over here. We'll do Rails generate 
paper clip book book underscore image so rails generate paperclip book book image we'll run that command and book image like I said corresponds to the name of the attached file that we added in the book.rb model file so let's go over to sublime and let's check out the migration file that's created for us here we have up and down like I said um, the attachment goes by the name of book image and it's changing the books table which is represented by our book model to have the attachment of book image awesome so to update our database since we created a migration let's run a rake db migrate to update our database with the most current information all right so now that we have paperclip up and going we're going to restart the rails server so that all the necessary changes can be um, put into effect. Awesome. So let's add the functionality we need to upload images when we create a new book. So to do that, let's go back to our browser. And I just want to show you what I'm talking about. So when we create a new book, what we want, oh, we have, and oh, I forgot to change that to book image. That is my fault back over here um, this second line is validating the attachment content but since I forgot to change avatar to book image we got an error so I refresh now there we go so what I want to do is right below the category I want to add a file field so when the user can click on it it'll say um, choose file to upload or something like that we'll click on it they can browse on their computer and find an image to upload so to do that we're going to go into our form partial because the form partial is what's rendered in the new book form views books underscore form .erb. and below the category ID we're gonna add a file field um, tag so we'll do f dot file field and it's gonna get the book image so we go back over here we refresh we're gonna see the choose file button awesome so I'm gonna add the same thing we just added right here to the edit file so go to edit and right below the category I'll add the file field and now when we um, submit a book so if we look into book the books controller we have book params down here now when we submit the form right now we're putting we're permitting the title the description the author and the category represented by category ID what we also want to permit now is the book image. If we don't permit it, it's not going to take into effect um, adding the image when we actually create a book. So in our case, we're going to go over here and we're going to permit the book image as well. So with that, we're ready to add a book. I mean, add an image to a book. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's create a new. Let's go ahead and create a new book. Let's actually. I don't want to add too many more books. So I'm just going to delete the Steve Jobs book right now. And I'm just going to add it again this time with an image. So let's go ahead and create a new book with a image for it. So for Steve Jobs book, we're going to do the category biography. In my downloads folder, I have a book review images folder. And I'm going to open up the Steve Jobs JPEG. And right here, you can see the name of the file. Book title is just Steve Jobs. Let's get a chunk of filler text here paste that in and the author is Walter Isaacson now we'll create the book and now we have the Steve Jobs book now it's associated with an image if we go back to the um, rails console here we'll go to rails console and we'll open up the book connection and we'll do at book gets book dot last and what we're seeing here now is we have the category ID of three, we have the user ID of one, and we have a book image file name. Right here's the name of the file. We have book image content type, which is a JPEG, file size, and the updated at attribute. Awesome. So the Steve Jobs book is now associated with the image we uploaded, which is what we want. So now we want to go about displaying this image. 
And what we want to do in this respect is we want to remove these titles here and create an image that will link to the show page as well. So to do that, let's go into our index view, which is where we're displaying these titles. And what we're going to do is instead of linking to the book title, we can just delete that. We're going to create an anchor tag, which is going to take us to the show page for the books. In this case, um, I'm just going to wrap the image tag in an anchor. And to link to the show page, I'm just going to do the show page URL, which corresponds to, if you look at the rake routes, the show page URL for a book corresponds to the URL slash book slash ID. So to make a little dynamic ID generator, we're just going to do slash book slash book dot ID. So this will take us to that instances, that instance of books show page. And then here we'll do an image tag, which is what we use to display images. And we'll do book dot book image. This is the instance of book. This is the book image it has with it. And the URL is going to be book index. Now this um, URL book index is just corresponding to the size of the book that we want. So we head over here, we're going to refresh, and we'll see the Steve Jobs image. And if we click on that, we go to its show page. Awesome, everything's working pretty good right now. We just have all these missing because we need to go in and edit those so we can add the image tag to those as well. So before I forget to do that, let's actually go in and these will still link to the show pages because this is technically where the image would be. But let's go ahead and add those images. So let's pick the ones I'm signed in to edit here. Here's one, the Storm of Swords. So fantasy category is still there. And I believe Storm of Swords was, is it book three? Book three, yeah. So book three, upload that image and we'll update the book. If we go back, that will now appear as well. So let's just do this for all the books. And I'll see you guys once I have all these books ready to go. Okay, so now that I have all the book images uploaded and ready to go for all the books that we have, um, one note, I did sign in as our second user, which for me was uh, Ned Stark at example.com, just because I needed access to edit these two books. And now what I want to do is I want to lay out these books so that they look a little bit nicer and they'll set us up for when we style it in the later parts. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the index view and we're going to wrap each book. Actually, we're gonna, before we do that, let's actually wrap the list of books here in a div the class of row. Now in Bootstrap we use rows to denote rows of content and we use columns to denote, well, you know, columns of content. So columns usually go inside of rows. So then inside here, we'll define a class of column medium uh, three. And now Bootstrap has a 12 column wide grid by default. And that's what we're gonna be using. So this is gonna allow four books to appear side by side. And now I gotta end these div tags. So this will end the column. And I want this to be the end of the row. So let's add a little bit of spacing here so it's easier to see what's going on. So we have the books wrapped inside a three column wide column and we have all that wrapped inside of a class of row. So we'll end that one more time. All right, so if we go back over here, we'll see that we got some spacing now. And another thing we wanna do is go into our application layout file and let's wrap all the content in a div with a class of container. And container adds margin to the left and right, so it kind of centers the content a lot nicer. So we'll do class of container, and we'll close that. Save that, and we'll, add, we'll see some margin now on the right and left, and there we go. Now, you might be wondering, some of these images are a little bit um, different. They're a little bit different sized, even though we uh, specified the URL, which had a fixed pixel width but some of these images came in at different sizes so we're still seeing a little bit of an issue there so to fix that I'm just gonna go into our index page and give 
each of these books a class. So we do class of just book. And I'll create some styles according to that. So I'll just do book. And we're going to have the height that we specified, which is 350 pixels. And the width, which was 250 pixels. Now we have that. We'll refresh. And we'll see all of our images are now the same size. Some of the images look a little, a little off. But that's just because um, we didn't add the padding yet around the outside for when we add our little tile styling. So with our index page, now looking how well, closer to how we want it, um, we can click on the show page and we can still see that we have no image here. We want a nice large image right where my cursor is. We want to have the description to the right of that and below that we're going to put the reviews. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our show page and we'll go into books, show.html.erb and to do that we're going to add at the very top here, we're going to add another image tag image tag and this is going to be at book dot book image dot url and this one's going to be book show and this is going to have a class of book show so we can define the width that we want so we'll do book show in our style sheet here and we'll specify a height attribute of 475 pixels and a width attribute of 325 pixels. So if we go over here and we refresh, we're going to see our image. And I did something wrong. Oh, PC, we want pixels. That That's a pretty ugly image right there. So we refresh that and there we go. We have the styling. We have the size that we want. We have our image appearing. And now let's just spend a little bit of time and lay out this content to where we want it to be so it makes it a little bit easier to see what's going on when we add our reviews and ratings in the next section. So to do that, we're going to go to our show page again. And we're going to add some columns for displaying this. So what we want to do is you want to wrap this up here in a div tag class of row and we're just going to wrap the content that we have here. I'll wrap that in a div, indent that in and now we want to wrap the image tag in about four columns wide and the description will take up the other eight columns. So to do that we'll wrap the image tag now in a div with a class of column medium four, indent that in close that div, create a little bit of space and the next div will have a class of column medium 8 and we'll wrap the description content in that div. So we'll paste that in and one thing I want to do now is I want to delete that category I put in there just because that's not going to be in our final application and we have the filtering the way we want if we go back, we'll see we have the image here and we have our description over here. So everything's looking pretty good. And to prepare for the future here, I'm going to create another class of row. And inside here, I'm going to create another column medium four. And in here, I'm just going to leave a comment because this is where the reviews slash ratings will go. All right, awesome. So everything is looking pretty good so far. And with the layout styling that we added to the show page and our index page working how we wanted, that is basically all I wanted to do for this section. So that concludes the paperclip gem functionality aspect of this application. Um, to recap quickly what we did, we added a book image attribute to each of the books. We have the books, um, instead of titles now, we have them represented by an image here, which we can click to be taken to the show page. And on the show page, we have a larger representation of the book. We floated the description over here to the right a little bit. And now, in the next part, we're gonna be adding the reviews and ratings to our application. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this part, and I'll see you guys in the next one.